Hi, everybody. I'm George Valentine. I'm the author of the Job Hunting Hero Method and the Job Hunting Toolkit. And I'm here to talk to you today about the janitor game. As you may already know, oh, I'll see. Mm. Hi everybody, I'm George Valentine. I'm the author of the Her Job Hunting Hero Method and the Job Hunting Toolkit. And I'm here to talk to you about the janitor game, a useful tool to help you as far as getting at the root of what it is that you know and how you are more than you think you are. The best way I can put it to you is this way, folks. Take a bunch of people, people off the street, people who've been doing some work, people who are out there looking for work themselves, and have them sit around the table here and find someone else in that crowd. Uh, let's see, here, we'll, we'll use this fellow right here. Okay, this fellow right here has been a shift supervisor at a donut shop. We ask the people around here, what are the different responsibilities of a shift supervisor at a donut shop? And they've come up with a handful of ideas of what they think is the case. They say that this person is involved in cleanup of the, of the uh, store. That they have to just settle disputes between customers. Oh, hey, I ordered French vanilla when I wanted hazelnut. That sort of thing. They have to work with the cashiers to make sure that they understand their job and to keep going and to meet the different demands that come up over the course of a shift. And they have to get the memos from the supervisor, from the manager, from the general manager and owner to the staff. They figured, and these people thought that they had it down pretty well. Then you ask the individual who actually had the job. And you say, hey, look, you describe what an average day is like or what a job is like from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. What sort of things are you involved with? And he says, or best he could say, hey, he's involved in all the deposits, has to make sure that every single cash register is on, is correct, to involve themselves immediately in the training of the cashiers or the other staff involved in changing money. They are responsible for making the deposits involved for the whole store, for that entire shift. Holy cow, what responsibility. Number two, that they're involved in keeping the place clean both inside and out. Let's say it's storming outside. They have to make sure that the place is safe. They have to make sure that the place is cleaned up both outside in the bathrooms, in the kitchen, in the uh, eating area. Number three, they have to counsel people. Sometimes someone comes into work and they're really not ready to work and they have to be counseled so that they can address the problems that they're facing, whether it's family or relationships or even just chronic pain that they're dealing with. That shift supervisor has to do that counseling to help that person be what they can do that shift. And if the person can't make it or somebody calls in at the last minute and can't stay or can't even show up for work, who gets to call in? to stay at the job for hours and hours later, you know it, the shift supervisor. Finally, one thing that we really were surprised at is that the shift supervisor is responsible for everything about the product going out, including the temperature of the filling in the filled donuts. Think about that. Along with everything else that's going on around them, they have to be that specific on the issues that they're facing that specific on the hard to find, hard to understand things. They have to be careful for all the detail. You understand that when you're looking for the next job, if all you say is that you did these things here, you're not giving the full picture. If you just say, I was the shift supervisor, you're not really showing the ability to deal with others, your ability to handle the details of the job that you'll work the long hours if need be. You'd much rather hire this person than this. You are more than what you think you are. Go through the janitor game. Show, other, show yourself, maybe even show other people, that you have more skills, more H-E-R-O, than what they might think. An employer looking over 
dozens and dozens of applications and sees the title of shift supervisor may only think of these. You have to point out these. But first, hit that subscribe button and come on back. We'll talk some more. Bye.